Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I have my little cuddle bug here, Chang Su Lee, and I wanted to show you what I changed her into, and I wanted to have a chat with all of you. So let me show you what she is wearing. She is in her uh, fleece sleeper, her winter sleeper, and it has white polar bears, white and black penguins. Let me see. Let me do it this way. Christmas trees that are green. If you can see it. And orange foxes. And they're all over her sleeper on the front and on the back. And she's wearing her white headband. And it has a white lace bow on the top and the bow is trimmed in white satin. And then she is wearing the orange pacifier clip to bring out the color of the foxes, which are orange. And on the end of this pacifier clip is an orange pacifier. It has a yellow handle and it has little pink and yellow hearts all over it. So that's what she's wearing. And then she has her Pooh Bear. She wanted to hold her Pooh Bear lovey. And of course, he's supposed to be like a light brown color and he has a red blanket. So she wanted to hold him. And it's very hard to get her to hold a pacifier clip because her hand is very... If you can tell, see how it's opened really wide. So her hand is not like Jamie's and Gianna's where she can hold the pacifier clip. So I have to do it kind of like that to get her to hold it. But there she is. There's my sweet cuddle bug. She's so cute. I just enjoy um, holding her so much. Anyway, guys, I wanted to have a chat with you. Um, I am selling my Holly Kim. Now, I know some of you are thinking, what? Why is she selling her Holly Kim? She just got her reborn, her head, and she's selling her. Well, guys, you know, sometimes life happens. Um... Sometimes we have a need that comes up that we, you know, need to sell our reborns. Um, or sometimes we just want to do it from our heart. And I'm doing this, well, I guess you would say to meet a need, a financial need. Uh, but mostly as... A gift of love from me to my son. Now, my son is 23 and he is a fine young man. I raised him very well. He's got a kind heart. Um, he is the type of person that if he had his own place, every stray dog and cat that he would see on the street, he would bring them home. <laughs> That's the type of heart he has. Um, and so, uh, if he were to meet you on the street or just to talk to you, he would say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. That's how he was brought up. Anyhow, I became disabled in 2009. And it was a very freak accident that happened at work, and uh, which totally changed my life forever. Um, and during that time, uh, I had no income. My son was 16 at the time, so when he turned 16 and a half, he went and he got a job. I had to sign the papers for him to be able to go to work. And every year since then, guys, he has worked hard. He's never taken a vacation from work. He's always 
taken up to date that I know of. He's taken, I say, 98% of his paychecks and put them into paying the bills for the house. Um, there's only been a few out of the six years that he's been working that he's actually kept the paycheck for himself. So um, he has literally single-handedly taken care of us, especially me, um, you know, since 2000, and he started working in 2010. So, um, wow, so it's seven years that he's been working. My goodness, a long time. Anyhow, it's 10 years, seven, oh, I don't know, guys, I'm so confused right now. <laughs> I'm not very good at math. He was 16 and a half. He's now 23. So, well, he'll be 24 in Jen. So it'll be uh, seven years. Yeah, that's right. Seven years. Anyhow, the reason I'm sharing about my son, um, he's a good kid. And like I said, he's a fine young man, and I'm very proud of him. And um, if it wasn't for him working, uh, we would have been out on the street a long time ago. But anyhow, uh, we're making it, we're surviving. And um, he went ahead and he decided to treat himself to a brand new laptop. And um, I have no arguments there with him doing that. It's his money if he wants to you know, buy a new laptop for himself. He has every right to do that. Uh, he has excellent credit. And, um, but what happened is uh, we had to renew our lease on the car. And the lease that we originally had, um, we were, on, well, I wasn't. My son was only paying $130 a month on it. So he got a really good discount on it. However, we went back last month because the lease was over and we needed to get a new lease car. And when we did that, we found out that the dealership no longer carries the lease payment that we originally had because they found that they had lost quite a bit of money <laughs> with having a low lease payment uh, on this one particular car that they were leasing out. Anyway, we had to get another lease on a different car, and it's now ending that it's um, costing my son $100 more a month, um, which both him and I had not anticipated it was going to happen, but it did. And he needed a car to go back and forth to work. I need a car to get back and forth to my doctors and to the hospital. And so uh, we took it. And um, I know we probably could have purchased a used car, but a car payment would have cost us almost $400 a month. And we just couldn't afford that. My son couldn't afford it because he's the one that's paying. So we stayed with the lease car, and his payments are only two hundred and was it two hundred and fifteen dollars a month. So we got a real good deal on it. Wish it was a hundred and thirty, but that's you know that's not how it works. Uh, like I said, life happens. Anyway, I wanted to do something special for my son. In the seven years that he has taken care of us and taken care of me um, financially, I wanted to do something for him. And so I decided to sell my Holly Kim and take that money from her, from, you know, selling her, and pay off his laptop for him so that he could have a little bit easier of a time financially. And um, that's why I say, 
in a way, it's meeting a financial need for him. And um, it's also showing him um, how much I appreciate everything that he's done for me in the uh, seven years that he's been working. And um, so that's why I am selling my Holly Kim. Um, however you want to look at it, you know, uh, he is my son. And these babies are very special to me. Very, very special. Um, but I had a choice to make either sell Holly Kim or sell Gianna, Jamie, and Chang Su Lee. And I love my little cuddle bug, and I love my Jamie, and I love my Gianna, so I opted to sell my Holly Kim. So if anyone is interested, uh, or if you know of anyone that might be interested, she is listed on eBay. All her information is on eBay. She will be coming home with quite a few beautiful pieces of clothing. And um, all you have to do is go on eBay and type in Ariana Awake Reborn Doll. And it will bring up her listing. And... Um, if I can, I will put the link in the description below uh, so you can click right on it and go into her listing. I'm not sure how to do that. <laughs> uh, I've never done that before, but I will try to do that. If I don't, then that's all you need to do is just to go in and type in Ariana Awake Reborn Doll on eBay in their search bar and it will bring her up. Uh, right now, she is the only one listed, so there shouldn't be an issue there. And she is ball headed so uh, very good chance that you will see her. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I did contact Myra, because Myra is the one that reborn her head for me not too long ago. And I had let Myra know that this was something that... You know, it saddens me to do it, but I wanted to make sure it was all right for her since she just recently reborn her head and she was fine with it. So, Myra, thank you, hon, for, um, you know, being okay with me doing this with my Holly. And thank you for posting her on your Instagram for me because she did agree to, up, you know, post her on her Instagram that she was for sale. And, um... She is a beautiful girl, and um, Myra, I am sorry, hon, that I am selling her after you just reborn her head, but, you know, I, as much as I love her, I love my son more, and I want to do this for my son, and I want to make it a little bit easier for him financially, and so this is something that I want to do. Anyway, guys, uh, you can go ahead on eBay and take a look at her. And like I said, if you're interested or if you know of anybody that is, please refer them to that listing. And please, guys, please do not leave me any comments about, um, you know, giving her to you for free or doing a trade or lowering the price or anything. I'm not going to do any of that. Um, and please, please do not leave me any negative comments about my selling her. She's my baby. She's my choice to sell. And I'm doing this for my son. So please, no negative comments. The other thing that I want to chat with you about, uh, let me get what I'm going to show you. If you have watched this video to this point, I am doing a secret giveaway um, for my subscribers. And this is for, I know I have subscribers um, uh, abroad. <laughs> I don't know how else to say in Canada and in Australia and in England, but I'll get to you guys in a moment. 
I have an outfit here. It is a brand new outfit. It's a boy's outfit and it's size six to nine months. It's very cute. And like I said, it's brand new. Um, too big for Jamie, but let me show you what it is. It's this green onesie, short sleeve, and it has a little dog, blue and green and white checkered dog. And um, I'm not sure what material the dog is, but the trim, the outline of him and his ear is all embroidered, like sewn. Um, it's not a uh, one of those decals where eventually they rub off. Anyway, it's this onesie. Very, very cute. And it comes with these blue pants. They're long blue pants, and they have the blue and white green design at the bottom and the um, they're folded up at the bottom and then it comes with this other onesie and it's white and it's got the blue and green design it's very cute and it's uh, six to nine months and it's a yoga sprout outfit and um, I'm doing this as a secret giveaway just to say thank you to my subscribers. Now, of course, there is one thing that you need to do to enter this giveaway. Only enter it if you have a reborn baby, a boy, that wears size six to nine month clothes. And what you need to do is upload a video it doesn't have to be a long video but just upload a video showing me your reborn baby boy and telling me what kit he is the scope uh, what his name is and what size um, clothes he wears um, they have to be size six to nine month clothes but I need you to tell me what kit he is and uh, what his name is and just comment on this video that you have uploaded a video for me to see please do not put in the comments below anything about the secret giveaway just comment that you've done the video and I will go to your video and what I'm going to do is all the subscribers that have uploaded a video that you know has the uh, the reborn baby uh, who is a boy and who wears size six to nine month clothes I'm going to take all those subscribers all those entries and put them into a drawing and um, everyone will get assigned a number and whosoever number comes up that will be the one that wins the outfit for the baby for those of you that live abroad uh, Canada, Australia, and England. I cannot pay for the shipping. Um, I can pay for the shipping in the U.S., but not to go abroad. It's really expensive. So you are more than welcome to enter the giveaway. Uh, you just need to upload your video, tell me about your baby boy, and, um, you know, I would like to see your reborn baby. And... Um, as long as you are willing to pay for the shipping, I have no problems with shipping the uh, giveaway price to where you live if you're in England, Australia, or Canada. You just have to pay for the shipping. I cannot. It's just too expensive. So I just wanted to uh, just do a secret little giveaway for this outfit. I will have some more giveaways. Um, I'm going to try and do one each week for the next two months up until Christmas because I do have a lot of things uh, that I would like to give away. So um, anyway, guys, that is my little chat about my Holly Kim. And you got to see my little cuddle bug. And I shared with you about the secret giveaway. I hope all of this made sense to you because I have to tell you, 
it makes no sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> it makes no sense to me whatsoever what I was just talking about. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching and take care. Bye for now.